Then they said, you should, you, you need to come to the front. And then I thought, oh no, more bad theology, because they said, if you don't come to the front, you'll lose your healing. I'm thinking, wow, I don't even believe that. But God likes to, um, likes to get past a lot of things like that. And, and he sometimes will offend the mind to get to the heart. And that's what happened with me. He, he really did. <laughs> I, I went forward and they prayed for me. And just as I thought, and I thought, oh, they have big hands and they're big people and they're going to push me down. And uh, I, I did fall down. I don't know if they pushed me or not. And I don't care because I fell down and, and I saw multitudes, Sid. I saw, I saw people from every tribe every tongue, every nation. I saw the hundreds and hundreds of thousands and it went on. It had no end, a sea of humanity. And I was crying out and I'm, I'm sad to tell you this, but this is my journey. And so if my journey helps someone else to say yes, my initial response to that vision was no. no I, don't want to I said, see no, them. I don't want to see <laughs> them. I'm tired. My husband and I are tired with 320 children. And he took a piece in this vision of his flesh from his side. Jesus, he did. His eyes are eyes of burning, fiery love. But he took a piece of his flesh and he just handed it to me. And he said, feed it to the children. I said, I can't. I'm thinking. I can't even speak. I'm sobbing. And in this vision, how can you feed flesh to a child? He said, feed it to the children. I died that there would always be enough. Holy, I reached out my hand and it turned into bread. Hmm. It turned into bread. Then he handed me a cup. It wasn't jeweled. It wasn't gold. It was a poor man's cup. Water and blood flowed from the side of Yeshua. Really, Hmm. it flowed from his side. And without speaking to me, he told me heart to heart, it's a cup of suffering and joy. Will you drink it? And I'm thinking, Lord, if you're offering it, your eyes are burning fire, your body's so bruised. If you're offering it, Lord, if you're offering it, Lord, I'll drink it. He he had ripped the, the no out of me and I drank the cup. He said, give it to the children. And I'm thinking now you're going too far, God. How do we give a cup of suffering and joy to a child? The joy part, that sounds wonderful, but the suffering. He showed me the suffering of humanity, that every single man, woman, and child who doesn't eat, who doesn't know Yeshua, who doesn't know beautiful Jesus is dying of starvation. Just like the children that I picked up in the garbage year after year, just like the kids in the family zones that are dying in my arms. They're dying of starvation if they don't know him. They're dying of lack of, of, of water if they don't drink of him. So I drank the cup and I passed it out. And he said to me a second time, I died that there would always be enough. Changed everything.